Hi Floss Tube, I'm Lori Shikalone and welcome to Once Upon a Stitch. Look who's back! Hi, I'm Rebecca. It's nice to be back. <laughs> it's my daughter-in-law Rebecca. Um, she was here about two months ago. Mm. Wow, it's been and that long already. Yeah. Time flies. Um, unfortunately she works. No, that's fortunate you do work. It's overrated. <laughs> <laughs> And so I don't get to see her as much, but um, a couple of weeks ago we had a breakfast. That was very nice. We yeah. had um, both my sons over, my uh, daughter-in-law, Michael, and my future daughter-in-law, and James, and we had breakfast um, one Sunday morning, which was nice. Um, Amy's going to be in a show again, so we won't get to yes, see her as much yeah, on Sundays. Sundays will be filled so, up. Uh, which is great. Okay. So, let's see. What have you been up to in the last two weeks? Oh, two months. Two months. Uh, I wish I had more fun stuff to talk about. Uh, mostly work. It's, it's, you know, I'm a principal, so this time of the year is definitely busy. Um, I'm a private school, so we do a lot of fundraising. Um, we also, like, started our re-registration process, so I'm giving a lot of tours and trying to sell the school. Um, so pulling a lot of, like, night meetings and weekend fundraisers. But I love the job. We have a great school. Uh, it keeps me going, though, so... But other than that, that's pretty much it. <laughs> More to say. On that. I know in the in, in in the winter, you know, it gets dark. Yeah. Earlier, and so once you see it's dark, you figure it's nighttime, so it's you don't true. do anything. True. I mean, I, that's how I feel. Yeah. I can't wait for daylight savings like to start. I know a lot of people don't like the change, but I love it. Oh, same. Yeah. I mean, we're outdoor people to begin with, so it's it's really hard right now. Yeah. And, uh, my husband Mike, he's been working like every other weekend, so that's also been kind of thrown. more home things for you to do on your own. You would think <laughs> <laughs> that's what I like to tell everybody, but really, it's you know, ooh, Netflix catch up, or you know, spend time with the dog, or you know, run around, run errands. But yeah, um, let's see. I've been the last time we met um, two weeks ago, a little bit more than that. I waited to the weekend to videotape because I knew Rebecca was going to try and come over so that we can tape together. But I attended my great niece's dance competition. Uh, they're eight and 10, and they do um, competitions. They live in New York, but they do a lot of competitions in New Jersey and a couple other states. Um, and so they weren't that far away. They were right in Newark Airport nice. at the Marriott. And it was it was right by the control tower, which was like amazing. I, I couldn't imagine that if there was a hotel that close to it. Um, but I thought the control tower would be more on the runway. That's what I would You know, but it was right it's there by the uh, parking lots and the hotel. So we went there and we got to watch them dance. And oh my gosh, I just, I wish I had girls. I mean, the boys could have danced because there was a boy in the dance troupe. But, you know, years ago, things were different. Yeah. You you were a dancer. I, I tried, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was a dancer. I danced, uh, you know, a couple years, yeah. So we did that, and then this past Sunday, Amy invited me to attend a bridal expo uh, not too far from her home, which is about 20 minutes to her house, and then maybe another 10 minutes from there, um, where they had vendors of different bridal venues, of the venue itself, the DJs, a band. Um, did you go to one? Uh, I think I went to maybe one, yeah. So she, we yeah, did that, and uh, we fun. spent the afternoon yeah, together that's fun. with her mom. You kind of get an idea of what you want and look yeah. around. Yeah, it's just fun. Look at all the nice dresses. And, and then when you're a bride, you know, they treat you special, too. Oh, yeah. They have her name tag, Aww. and they cater to her a little that's bit, which so, was nice, that's you know. Fun. Yeah. And she got ba a bag and um, things like that. So it was fun. It was real fun. Anyway, how about questions from the last video? Okay. <clears throat> Olivia Ramirez asked where you got the scissor house case pattern. Okay, I pulled it out and I looked on one, two, three stitch. This was the pattern. Um, it's by Rami, Rami Creations, and um, I went on one, two, three stitch to see if you can get it there, and it wasn't listed. It wasn't listed under um, the name of the company nor the uh, designer, Romina Petrucci. Um, I checked both places and it wasn't at 123 Stitch. I got it at my local Needleworkers um, store. It's called Needleworkers Delight in Metuchen, New Jersey. Um, I, I guess you can sh try it at your local LNS um, if they can get it for you. Maybe they can order it through another. If, I don't know. Maybe they have to order it right through her. I don't know if she has a website. I didn't check that out, but 
Cats, um, Rom, Rami's creation, R-O-M-Y apostrophe S. All right, really cute. Okay. Betty Yulon asked if high heels is for your daughter-in-law. Oh, oh, wait, what? That would be me. Oh, <laughs> your future daughter-in-law. I keep forgetting you're going to have another daughter-in-law. <laughs> Not always about me. <laughs> Uh, beautiful, it's for my it's technically for my future daughter-in-law um and you know like i was trying to read the pattern here and i think it says shinyroom.com and there's no other name on the pattern mm -hmm. i got this also at my local lns and it's high heel collection number yeah. two and i chose this one as opposed to one and three because it had a purple lilac shoe yeah. and that's amy's yeah, favorite she color i love that so, if she doesn't... Yeah, when are you planning on giving it to her? When I'm done. Okay. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> These are the three collections. Um, me, personally, I like the blue shoe at mm. the top, but the black shoe on the bottom is yeah. nice, too. Anyway. I do. I like that black shoe on the bottom. Just the design. Yeah, right? It's really cute. Yeah. That's beautiful. So, um, I got that at my local LNS. Um, yeah. Okay. Very cute. Excellent. Okay, Southernmost Stitcher asked about the doll that was in the background in your last video. Excuse me. And that would be this American um, girl doll. She is, um, she was a gift. A friend of mine from my group on the library on Tuesdays that we meet, she, was a, she is a doll collector and she was de-stashing some of her stash. And um, she wanted to give a doll away. And I says, look, if you're going to give a doll away, I would love one. She told me it's an American girl doll, and her name is Addie. And I love that name because uh, there was a movie. It was made in 1949. I had to look it up because I wanted to talk about, about it. And it's called A Letter to Three Wives. And the woman writes, Addie, writes a letter to these three wives and says that she's going to run away with one of their husbands. So the, the premise of the movie is they start thinking of, episodes, of things that happen, and they show it on the screen, of could it possibly be their husband so and and then at the end you find out what how it how it ends who she who she runs away with but that was Addie so I love Very I love my cute. little doll yeah that and doll she's so cute beautiful. to hold on I know to. she's so cute on it. I didn't have you had dolls I had dolls yeah so I had yeah. boys <laughs> you could have gave them dolls <laughs> <laughs> that is a really cute doll though Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Joanne Oberfeld and Sandy TG Bay, TGB asked about your project bags. Okay. Um, <clears throat> these were the ones that I was using mostly last week. I got them off of Amazon, and they're called Ophilon? O F I L O N. I'll link it below zipper envelope pouch they come at 10 they're water resistant they have a zipper um, with a pull and they were 10 for 9.99 so i ordered um 40 of them and i put everything in here unless there are a lot of floss um but you know it could fit a, a lot and they fit into my carry-on bag so um and at 99 cents each yeah, I mean, you can't go wrong with that i got these at the um container store oh that's wonderful which was where you used yeah. to live up in that yeah. area it's not too close this one was 2.99 um it's yeah it's a little bit thicker but for the for the price for me it's fine yeah for just holding my projects in there and since my goal is to have a lot of whips i purchased 40 of them and uh, most of them are filled with prior or coming up or going to start so they're full Except for these couple here, which I'm, I just finished some, so I'll be sharing that nice. with you. Very nice. Uh, let's see. Nancy Palm asks if you stitch in hand. No. Uh, I tried it, um, let's say, about 25 years ago when I started cross-stitching, or 30. Somebody, I wanted to buy a hoop when I purchased it, and she says, just do it, hold it, and do it. And I did it. And it was fine, but for some reason, it, I didn't stitch very long. And then when I uh, started up again, I found that um, I wanted to stitch in a hoop. And they have all these other choices, especially uh, Q-snaps. I, I love my Q-snap, and if the piece fits in a Q-snap, I will definitely put it in a Q-snap, 
If it's too small, I'll use a tension hoop like this. And um, the small one I find has a really great tension on it. Um, the larger one I have doesn't hold it quite as taut, um, but if it fits in a Q-snap, I'd like, I put it in a Q-snap. What about you? I'm more of stitch by hand, I do it in hand, and I think part of it is because maybe I'm so new to it still, um, I struggle, uh, you know, using any of those devices, so I find it just, for me personally, I think it's just easier to like to hold, and then I can really have a handle, and I feel like I have better control. Okay. Um, I don't know, maybe down the road, and, and my projects have been pretty simple, but um, maybe down the road, when they're a little bit harder, and I need to stretch the material a little bit more, I could see, definitely, but... Even like when I tried doing yeah. um, in hand, I felt like I had to hold the fabric in such a way where I was holding it taut in order to stitch. Yeah, see, I don't I, know. If I know, and it's funny because you, you know, you've pretty much prepared me. I mean, you got me all those <laughs> devices, <laughs> so I'm always trying it, and I just, I always go back. I take it. I'm like, oh, I get frustrated. I take it out, and then I just start again um, in hand. And for Not me funny. personally, I feel like holding it is just I have more control. Alrighty. Any more questions? Uh, no questions but we do have a, com a couple comments here uh, someone mentioned that you didn't state your um, fabric choices I guess the last time yes I, f I forget um, if I don't have a written down of what it might be on I more I forget more the color than anything because I can tell if it's a 20 it's either a 28 count Lugana or it's an Ada I don't do anything smaller than uh, 28 and um, and the Ada's it could vary from 14 16 or 18 um, but sometimes I it's the colors that I don't remember so I sometimes don't say it but I'll try to be more conscious of it in the future alrighty I think you do a pretty good job you're very well organized <laughs> thank you <laughs> okay let's go into finishes okay you want to go first I'm sure it's always hard to go after her it's like, oh, wow, that's beautiful and this is what I did <laughs> Um, well, these, everything you do is beautiful and gorgeous, and I'm just so thrilled that you do it. I know. Thank you. <laughs> and I'm so thrilled you got me into this. Um, so this is something that I think, you know, I showed, we showed everyone the last, like, two months ago, but I would like to show the actual finished work. And I'm very blessed to have a mother-in-law that is super creative. I cannot take the credit for the, <laughs> the, Actually, uh, it's, it's not quite that straight, but... We did I'm, the best that we could. I'm impressed. <laughs> so this is the finished work of that. And then this one, she was able to help me and put it in a frame. So again, still go back and forth where to put this, but you know, I think to display just, it. Yeah, I think I'm just going to display it in the living room. <laughs> <laughs> it makes it's a great conversation conversation starter, you know. Um, but yeah, that, so that's kind of the last two things that. Uh, are completely done and finished. Awesome. awesome. Alrighty. So I had some starts uh, the beginning of the month, but I also had finishes from those starts. So the first one is um, Erica Michael Sweet Berry Fre Freedom Berry. And what I did was um, I stitched it, I finished it, and then I made a little uh, strawberry to get the feel of how I was going to put it together in a small version. But of course, mine is on steroids because I did it on 28 count. <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> That's great. Uh, let's see. It's Sweet Land of Liberty. And um, and I, I, I also watched, um, I watched Heart Street Sampler, I think it was. She did um, a berry. She did really small ones, and I just kind of like follow the pattern mm -hmm. and try to just do it larger um yeah it's beautiful and um so i'll probably kind of display them somehow together them? probably in the family room i'm thinking like the family room will be my um patriotic room yeah. like with those other ones that i finished and i'll hang them and then you're gonna have to be very in. careful though when your um <clears throat> dog my <laughs> grand dog your grand dog comes over because he's obsessed she made us this beautiful for valentine's day it's like a heart with little hearts on on top of it. Oh, What's the it stuffed um, with the felt one. Yes, it's, um, fiber. It's felt, just fiber film. Yeah, really. It's very, it's very soft. It's very nice. He loves it. He's obsessed with it. He knocks it every single time he comes <laughs> by, and then like tries to like catch it. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> looks like I'll be making more than one. Yeah, so if he ever gets it, may want to put that at high up. <laughs> <laughs> the next finishes I had was um, 
the year of celebrations. I did, I showed January and February. So here's March, and I'll display it with so cute. Um, wow. something like this in the background. I, right now, February's in the um, holder that I have downstairs in the family room, and then come March, I'll swap this one out. And then April, I also finished April. Um, okay, March, I'm trying, okay, I have to be better at this. Let's see, I think I wrote it down. 28 Count Lugana in Summer Khaki. And then April is a, I believe it's a 14 Count Ada that I dyed myself. And it's like a bluish gray. And I had this fabric in my stash that had umbrellas on it and uh, has that black gingham so I thought I'll do the black bow and gingham yeah, on the really side. Good. Yeah that's adorable. Maybe this that's side. so cute. You know once it's on the frame I'll, mm -hmm. I'll um, I put the um, off-centered it so that you can see more of the fabric too. That was a good idea especially with the bow. With the bow yeah. and then they can see the umbrellas because if you, you know, otherwise maybe you couldn't see yeah, most of it. that's a cute fabric. So I like just had a small piece of it. That's so and, funny. Uh, that works perfectly. Yeah. So yeah, really that's nice. that one. Then just the F, a finish, was um, Heart and Hand, Sweet Land of Liberty. Oh, no, Land That I Love. Where did I get that one? Sweet. Oh, the other <laughs> one, Sweet Land. Okay. Land I Love, and I finished it on a 28-count ivory. Yes, 28-count Lugana in ivory. And um, I wanted to, I went to Hobby Lobby to see if I can find one of those boxes with the cover. Yeah. Um, like a paper mache and then painted in patriotic. But they didn't have anything at the Hobby Lobby I'm by me. I'm surprised by that. I, I do you know the Hobby Lobby by you closed? No, I did not know that. We were driving by and we went there and there was a sign that says closed. Please visit. And it listed the really? other two. Really? Mm -hmm. That's so, makes me very sad. Yeah, me too. I always that like going very to different close. one. <laughs> Then the next one I finished um, wasn't a new start, but it was a finish. It was the Prairie Schooler. This one's called the um, Prairie Sampler. That's the little one. Uh, it's hard there. I try not to cover us. And I finished it. Yeah, that's beautiful. That is, I love it. And this is on Ada, 18 count Ada. You didn't tell me it was sideways. <laughs> Oh, now it's upside down. <laughs> okay. There you go. <laughs> we'll get it right. Then I have these two frames. I was showing Rebecca earlier. I have this one. Yeah. Um, and I told her that I was going to paint them, but I didn't know, like, what colors to paint them. or. So she suggested the blue. And I, I kind of like like that idea for the water, perhaps. Yeah, make um, it pop a little. Yeah, and then I have this frame as well, but just kind of blah. Mm, that's cute, but I like the other first frame. Yeah, it so like well, these frames were uh, larger, um, and my husband said, give me two frames and I'll cut them down and practice in making them smaller because we've been going to the uh, Salvation Army right. and the and Goodwill yeah. and buying frames, and sometimes they're not the right size, but if he can miter the corners and then put them back together yeah romper room there you go um then we could uh you know be easier to fit my pieces into these frames that's great so i just have yeah. to sand it paint this it is nice and then i'll um pop this in it really cute hopefully it'll be ready for I'm summer i'm very excited to see the finished product oh thank with you the frame. Alrighty. so those were our finishes whips works in progress sure get this out of your way This is almost done. Live well, laugh often, love deeply. Probably one of my favorite sayings. I just, and I struggle, I don't know why I struggled with this so much, but I did have a hard time with the bottom. Okay. Um, I kept counting wrong and then having to Join fry the it. club. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're like halfway down, I'm like, ah, I gotta start over. Um, but yeah, I just have to fill in the heart and. And you're almost done. A, yeah, a couple more rows. So I'm almost done with that one. So I'm you very excited. Decide how you want to finish that. I know. This is a tough one. Because it could be a pillow. It could be a long... You could put a piece of fabric on this. That. Well, we can talk about it off yeah. camera too. But, <laughs> but um, we'll, we'll just get It'll a finished It'll be a surprise. 
<laughs> yeah, let's get it finished and then and then this one. Okay. I think I mentioned this one that I I'll hold it for you. Oh, thank you. Uh, the last time, two months ago, I was talking about this one. I'm very excited to start, and now I'm very excited to show you all the work that I did. <laughs> Ta-da! I really struggled with this one because it changes colors very fast. <laughs> and I also realized that um, I'm not the best counter. <laughs> so I did a lot of frogging with this. Uh, you guys show it on camera. The, the stitch part. Yeah, there we there go. you go. Yeah. You're getting so, there. Slowly but surely. So slowly but surely, yeah. But I'm uh, determined to finish this one and uh, frame it. I like it. Yeah. It's really pretty. I just love it. It's something about it that I keep going back to. And this one, I apologize, I left the pattern at home, but this one, there we go. Simple um, Hearts. I can't remember the name of it. It's an old pattern. It is an um, old pattern. It's when I started, like I said, 25, 30 years ago, um, it was one of the patterns that I bought. And I stitched it up, I made a pillow, and I gave it to a, a cousin in Italy. Um, and then I made a small pillow with just four hearts. And then I showed Rebecca when she was starting to uh, cross stitch. I showed it to her, and this was one of the first ones you tried. Yeah. I, for, I, I struggled with the pattern, and not because it was um, difficult by any means, but um, for me personally, I had a hard time just like completing the hearts. <laughs> uh, but. It, it's actually really beautiful when there's and there's one more row of hearts on the bottom so that'd be pretty yeah and then we make it like a hopefully I can get it done uh, oh wait Valentine's Day passed already <laughs> never mind <laughs> hopefully I can get it done for next Valentine's Day <laughs> all right well <laughs> and that's it <laughs> very good very good okay so what I okay in my rotation I started um, oh they're not they were the new ones that I started this month and um, this is my working pattern. This is Jada's pattern. It's Jenny Bean and Friends by Shakespeare's Peddler, uh, Kitten Stitcher, Teresa. And the picture does it no justice at all. You want to bring it a little bit closer? Oh, sure. Yeah. I'm sorry. That's okay. Yeah. And the colors are not. so much prettier. Yeah, yeah that is um, beautiful. On camera and in person. And I saw the model stitched um, last year when we did our uh, retreat, floss tube retreat in New Jersey. Um, we had a trunk show from uh, Shakespeare's Peddler, and this was on the wall, and I absolutely fell in love with it. It was so pretty. It is beautiful. Um, so, and I'm stitching it on a 28 count Lugana in Cameo. Um, it was dyed by needleworkers. Um, you know, I had asked him, like, what's the closest color yeah. um, to the one that Teresa stitched it, or yeah. whoever stitched it for her, and he said he can dye me something called Cameo. And that's the Jenny Bean? Jenny Bean. And actually, there was a comment here from Brenda W.V. Stitcher, saw your Jenny Bean and friend sampler and wants to get hers out as well. It's funny because that's pretty, when pretty I was stitching it, I was actually stitching it downstairs, watching Floss Tube on the television, um, and I was watching... Country Stitchers, okay. Deb and Liz, and Deb said she was going to start the Jenny Bean one, and she was showing it, and she was showing her fabric, so I, I snapped a picture of my start and her in the background, and I posted it on <laughs> oh, Instagram. that's so cute. Nice. So now to see somebody else interested in starting, it, starting again, it again, too. Again. That was yeah. cool. And then this one, I don't know if I've shown you this one. These are all individual patterns. Oh, wow. Um... It's the uh, Early Americans Little House Needleworks, and I'm trying to find the one that I'm... Betsy Ross. This is the one I started. And I'm doing it all on one big piece of fabric, like um, Vana, the Twisted Stitcher, and a lot of people have been doing. And that's wow. how far I got on a two-day rotation. Wow, that's impressive. That's beautiful. But it's a big piece of fabric, yeah. because like all nine of them are going to... It's going to be going three, to six, just nine. Mm-hmm. What are you going to do with it when it's done? Um, I'll I'm frame it. it. Yeah. And, you know, this is another one of those patriotic ones. Yes. So yeah. I'm going to try and put it um, in with, next to the other one. That's really nice. So it has some, some I forgot all the, put it on all the floss. But um, these are all the ones that go with it, like Martha Washington and everything. Oh, yeah, cute. So, this one's also really cute. I'm just show you freedom. 
Oh, you know what? You can stitch something like that really and just like make that. a pillow. Wow. That is adorable. Yeah. If I start now, I should be done by July. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. You're welcome. And so I, those are the starts and finishes that I have. And then these were the rotation pieces that I worked on since the last time. Um, yeah, that's gorgeous. Um, this was Once Upon a Stitch. It's funny because when I, no, no, it's Once Upon a Time. <laughs> that's what I do. I say to myself, well, let me go work on the Once Upon a Stitch. No, that's me. <laughs> that's you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get it right. <laughs> so, Once Upon a Time by the Frosted Pumpkin. Yeah. And they're Grim Fairy Tales. Um, and I want to see if I can get books for each of them. Oh, yeah, that's I think cute. I have some up in the attic from when the boys were yeah. little. Let me know, because I probably can help you get the books. And, um, because I think it'll be a nice... Oh, yeah, that's someday. so put it all together. Just saying. <laughs> but, anyway, the last time I worked on this, I did the top and part of the border, and I was afraid that I started too low and wasn't going to have enough room and it's cutting it close. Oh yeah, I see what you mean. See, wow. like the bottom? Yeah. yeah. I don't have much room at the bottom. Right, you're almost there. Yeah. So, um, I but but I think I could fudge it. Yeah, you should be able to. It goes this way. And you're um, going to frame it, right? Yeah. I, I told Sal, Sal, my husband, I told him, I said, oh, maybe I can make a wall hanging out of yeah, it, like with fabric absolutely. too. Absolutely. And he liked the idea of framing it, so I don't know. One yeah. of the two. We'll really, see. It's really cute, though. It's beautiful. So February's Princess and the Frog. Is that the name of the book? Um, is it Princess and the Frog? I don't know. It kiss a frog and he turns Once, into a prince? Yeah. I, I can't remember that. Well, that's what I'm saying. I have to get these <laughs> books and really look at frogs. Study. I guess I got a couple of years to uh, figure it out. Yeah. So... <laughs> Anyway, so I really did that, cute. and I did work it to the bottom, and I could um, could mount it on a board, and then um, you have some options there. Yeah. Oh, and then this was the other two, next two-day rotation that I worked on, and that was um, the Primitive Hair oh. Snow White. Beautiful. So this is the pattern. That is, yeah, that's beautiful. Wow. And the last time, I had just started the top of a little bit of her hair, so I got her done. Wow. Not her done, totally, but I got her done to yeah. her waist and arm and a half. And a little bit down further on the tree. That's great. So, That's gorgeous. And the apple. You know, I was hesitant about stitching her really white. It calls for white. Her, her to be in white. Be, um, 50, 5200. And I was thinking, oh, maybe I should change her to more of a pinky tone. But she's Snow White. Yeah. So I guess... No, I think it, it really, you and know, especially with the background, I think it really works. And then I looked up Snow White, and Snow White is in yellow and blue. So I said, maybe I just do it the way the designer right. set it up and leave it right. with these colors, because I think it goes better with the other one that we did. Exactly. Red Riding Yeah, Hood. yeah. So are you going to frame this one as well, or... Right next thinking. to the one you have. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be for us? Oh, thank you. I learned something every time we come over. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, I didn't want to, you know, I wanted to make sure before. I was like, are you giving us that? Of course. It's, it's wonderful. It's a, it's a, goes together. Set, yeah. Yes, it's a set. And Mike has his red riding hood, and I have Snow White. We're, we're good. <laughs> so you each have one. All righty. So... Oh, Hall, do you buy any new patterns, or? I do have a couple, because I feel like everyone loves coffee, so I'd like to have this one, and I like to put it in the kitchen. A Lizzie Kate. Oh, yeah, right by your coffee. Lizzie Kate. Um, I know. That's cute. And then, of course, also another Lizzie Kate. Can't have coffee and then not wine. I mean, come on. So then, this is the other one I like. I saw this in a frame, and it had cork all around it. That's like, a really a, cute idea. I like that a lot. They, they cut it in half, the cord, yes. and then they glued it all around the frame, and it was really cute. I think that would idea. be perfect, and then we could put it on our, or hang it by the our wine shelf. Yeah. 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 Really cute. I did not buy any new patterns, but I, when I went to Hobby Lobby, excuse me, I, um, I see Priscilla and, let's see, this new stitcher I've been watching, Christy, uh, finished project with these cotton. Wow. I don't know what they're called. Cotton, cotton balls? No, they're not cotton. Well, it's from the cotton plant, I guess. 
and that's really cool. Um, Hobby Lobby had this, and I guess you know we cut them up and we put them on different things. And I've never purchased it before because here's here's the price right here, Rebecca. Look at that. Oh yeah. But here's Ooh, the price yeah. I cut off. Yeah, that's And it pricey. was this, and so there was no yeah. way in the world yeah, I was buying it. It's probably not. So when it got down to wow, that's a really nice deal. Five ninety nine. There you go. I picked it up. Really and um, I have to figure out how you're going to do with this? it. <laughs> That's a good question. It's <laughs> okay. I, I've seen Still. them like stick them in picks, like with their um, finishes and st yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, you will. I'll I have no it. doubt you will find something beautiful to do with it. Or if you have something at home that you think could um, use some of this, yeah. because I got so much of it, it's I, just really cute. And you know, they just unwind basically yeah. out of here too. So Very you cute. Cut them yeah. up. So that's, I got that, and then I bought a mat cutter from Michaels. What does um, a mat cutter do? It, I was saying that the hardest part of doing the flat folds oh, right. is to get the mat cut straight. Yes. And I had another coupon, um, it was a 60% at Michaels, and this is a Fiskars mat cutter that I bought. And this is just um, a guide so that you don't get cut. You don't put your finger by the blade. And it has a handle, so it opens and closes okay. this way. And it cuts mat board, and um, oh. it has a guide that you set it up so that you um, get straight cuts and everything instead of wonky cuts. That makes sense, and that cutter would cut <laughs> mat board. I and get it, it now. All right. All right. So those are my two purchases <laughs> this month. Nice. Um, and that's it. And then for our my plans is I'm going to film again at the end of February, and I'll show you my new starts for March. I think I have six new starts that I'm starting, and then um, show you what I'll be working on from now until uh, March 1st when I start my uh, those new starts. That's my plan, and let's see. Oh, Monday I'm going dress shopping That's with exciting. Amy. Yeah. She invited me to That's go um, wedding dress shopping, That's but then so much fun. Rebecca invited me too when she went. Yeah, that was well, fun. you should be part of it, absolutely. So, so, you know, not having daughters, I'm always excited when they include me in um, <laughs> some of their shopping expeditions. So. Well, I mean, you did pick out my wedding dress. Well, that was I, just... I mean, I mean, I just said, what do you think of this no. one? That's all I did. I went through like 50 of them, and I <laughs> had my heart set on one, and then you were like, what about it? And I was like, yes. Uh, so, so, you have good taste. Well, you made it a beautiful bride. Thank you. Anyway. So, where were we? So, we were just... Uh, your, Our plans. Your plans, yeah. So, what are your so, plans? Um, well, hopefully, I can shoot with you again soon. Uh, maybe March. Well, gives me motivation to get some stuff done. Marker. We'll shoot for one, once yeah. a month and yeah. see how that and goes. See how that goes. And um, actually, in March, yeah. we're going to try and get um, our relatives, uh, Grandma and my sister-in-law, yeah, nice her to boyfriend, see for maybe a luncheon or yeah. something. It's been a while yeah. with the weather and stuff, but it's been it's yeah. been really nice in New Jersey. I mean, we can't really complain. I mean, yeah. you had a snow day this week. Yeah, I it did. was more <laughs> of sleet. A yeah. lot of accidents throughout New Jersey, um, but. We were lucky we had hardly any accumulation. And uh, yeah, it was so, a beautiful, and it's a beautiful sunny day today. Yeah. Yesterday was in the 50s. Yeah, it's, the weather's been it's a little cooler place, today, but, yeah, but in not, the 40s. Could can't be a lot complain. worse. We can't complain. Yep. Yeah, so it will be nice to see everybody. It will. Yeah. Oh, and next weekend I'm going to uh, Needleworkers. It's the Floss Tube Retreat uh, Gang is going to meet up there, as weather permitting. So we'll be, I'll be doing that. Very and nice. Uh, you have to get to one of those too. Yeah. Just love the community. Everybody has been so. I love reading the comments and then seeing what people are working on, and it really keeps you going, you know. And and you get involved and you get kind of get attached to people's work, and it's really. And I'm very excited for the retreat. I know. I, I can't am, wait. <laughs> <laughs> this ought to be excited. fun. <laughs> this is gonna be. That's gonna be a good uh, taping after that one. Yeah. Yeah. That's yes. gonna be very exciting. But you know what? Maybe by then we'll learn how to insert or something because they do that brag table. And oh. I know a lot of people um, videotaped it and I didn't, but it, I mean, people do gorgeous work there. Yeah, I'm sure we could figure that out. So, and then, yeah, I don't know, and then Michael us. maybe can help us insert yeah, it into he's, um, he's a tech guy. Put him to work with it. Yeah. Or we can maybe try 
taping there. We could. Be interesting. Bring more people into it. Yeah. yeah. Go around and show what people are working yeah. on. Absolutely. We'll work on that. We'll yeah. see how we can do. But until next time, I hope you have a great couple of weeks. Um, I hope you enjoyed your visit with us today. Uh, I hope you come back and visit with us again. And it will be a surprise every time I can get Rebecca to join me. <laughs> and so I can't make any promises, but hopefully she'll come back soon. Absolutely. I definitely will. And I'll see you all soon. All right. Happy Take stitching, care. guys. Love Bye. you guys. Subscribe. Yeah, Rebecca. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>